Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing an eyeshadow look with some really pretty plummy wine colors. So if you want to see how I got this eyeshadow look, just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes using my Milani eyeshadow primer. And first thing I'm going to do is take the highlighter that I use on my face, which is the Essence Pure Nude, and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. I don't like to put my brow bone color too far in towards my nose. So I put it from about the highest point of my arch on down. Okay, the first color that I'm gonna put in my crease is going to be this one right here. And it's from the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. To take it pretty far up above my crease just because I want a nice fade um, from all the other colors that we're gonna put below it. take my Sigma E25 blending brush and just kind of go on the border of my crease color up into my brow bone. The uh, brush that I was using to put the crease color in is an E35. A lot of times where I'm doing a look where I put the crease color up pretty high, after I put it in I'll go back in and touch up my brow bone just because it can kind of get blended away. On my lid, I'm gonna take this color right here from the ColourPop She palette. Just kind of in a tapping motion to get as much pigment as we can and trying to avoid fallout. Periodically, I like to take my fan brush and dust off my fallout just because these Shadows from ColourPop that we're working with are so intense. Then I'm gonna take my E25 brush and just kind of buff the edges of that in the inner corner just to blend it with the crease a little bit. Then I'm gonna take this corner color from the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette, put it in my crease. I love working with these types of tones on my eyes because I have brown eyes, but depending on the lighting and depending on the color of eyeshadow that I use, they can really start to look green. They have a bit of green in them, but I can make them look a lot greener depending on my eyeshadows. So I like to play around with that. Just like orangey shadows can make blue eyes really pop out reddish purplish plummy eyeshadows can really bring out the green in your eyes if you have brown eyes. And then every now and then I'll go back with my E25 and just kind of buff the edges. And then in the outer part of my eye, I'm going to take this color here from that same palette. Just focus it in the outer corner of my eye. I'm putting it on first with just a Sonia Kashuk eye brush. It's a little bit denser than most blending brushes, so I like to use it to pack on color before I blend it out. I'm gonna go back in with a clean brush with nothing on it. This is a Real Techniques base shadow brush. Just make sure all the edges are blended nicely. And that last color that we used from ColourPop 
it's kind of the darkest plum that I have. I still want to intensify the outer corners up a little bit more, so I'm going to add just a touch of black. So I'm going to take this pencil brush from Sonia Kashuk, take the black in the I Think I Love You palette, and very carefully just add some to the outer corner. And then blend it in. Okay, now I'm gonna do my bottom lash line. So I'm gonna take that darkest plum color, put it on the outside. And then I'm gonna wipe off my brush, just to get most of that pigment off. And then go to that next lightest color that we took. Wipe it off again. Then take the color that we put on our lid, put it more towards the inner corner of our eye, but not all the way in because we're going to do a little bit of highlight. Then we'll take the other end of that brush, take our crease color, blend it all together. Take the highlight that we used on our face and our brow bone, and we're going to highlight the inner corner. This is a Real Techniques Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush. I don't do as much highlight on the inner corner as I would do if I was doing a light eye look because I still want it to look smoky. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm taking the Maybelline Stiletto. I'm not going to do a wing, so I'm just going to do basic line on the upper lash line. Then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. Put it on my inner rim. This really helps when you're doing a smoky eye for avoiding your eyes looking too red like you're sick. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it off with some mascara and we'll be good to go. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I hope you liked this look. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.